Alright, we need to we need to maybe just I'm just gonna set a few points out which which may be confusing to, to some of you. I am not actually a priest. No. 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 I trained to a high level, but I just failed on the last exam, so there was something about blasphemy. <laughs> and again, when I walked into the room, everyone was disrobed. I did not realise it was a changing room. Um, so we may have lost a few people on the way, um, and, and when, when, Tracy and Andy said, when Tracy and Andy said they were going to perform this wedding, I wished to perform the wedding on the top of the Capitol Tank and I laughed. Um, <laughs> then they looked serious, so I didn't laugh, I pretended I was laughing at something else. Um, but you know what, it actually has happened. Um, everybody is here, and no one has laughed, which is awesome, because usually on outdoor holics hikes, which is the kind of hike which Tracy, Andy and, and Beth Lang are in. Normally there'd be a, a rule of 10% loss. Um, <laughs> there's actually small communities living in the woods <laughs> around here who got lost on trips. It, it's fine, they got their own culture now and they're quite happy. Some are feral. <laughs> but anyway, we are, we're going to kick through. I, 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 I'm just going to say a few words about, about me. <laughs> I, I mean, not to say that there's three people in this relationship. Um, um, I had the pleasure of meeting these guys on my first ever hike in, with Outdoor Holic in, in February 2012 in Little Earth Cove in Dorset. Um, and since that time, I've been, I've been hiking with the crew here, and, and Graham, the best man, of course, is, is, is Mr. Outdoor Holic. There he is! Yeah. Hi, Graham! <laughs> and, uh, as you'll have seen uh, briefly today, but, but um, before every hike that ever happens, there's always a safety briefing. Um, a safety briefing covers key things, and, and Graham normally slips a reference into not to do something or you may die. That's, that's a key element of it. So, given that, that Tracy and Andy are about to embark on a journey, I felt it was only fair that we give them some form of safety briefing. Um, <laughs> the journey they're about to embark on and how best to, how best to deal with that. So, so in, in doing, I consulted with the good book, which is the SAS Survival Guide, <laughs> to just make sure I had a, I had a reference point. And uh, just, I'm just going to keep it brief to the three key things I, I felt were, were essential in, in, in any good uh, marriage. So, always have the right equipment. Um, I understand that Tracy has checked that carefully, um, the equipment to make sure it's in working order. Again, people forget that, they leave old equipment lying around, it, it comes to a critical moment, someone's hanging somewhere, and there's rope, and so just... The most dangerous time for accidents is in the dark. <laughs> Mistakes easily happen. You think you're putting one thing somewhere and the, the rope is slipping. And so maybe wear head torches. <laughs> <laughs> Just a small tip for I you. I got diamonds. And diamonds will also work. Wow. <laughs> uh, and then, then finally, just when you reach loose surfaces, always make sure you're tied together. Um, always have enough rope. And I don't mean in a Fifty Shades of Grey way. I just mean <laughs> tie yourselves together in, in, in loose surfaces and, and stuff like that. So that's just a few tips for you. And obviously, there's more available in the book. <laughs> right. Oh, don't let her. Don't let her. Right. So uh, I, I talked to Tracy and Andy before this day. And I wanted to see that they were, uh, you know, they wanted to make sure they wanted me to be the priest because that seemed like an entirely unnecessary gamble. Um, <laughs> but they wanted me, they had been drinking at the time, and I think it's one of those things, you know, you say something, it's too late to take it back. I bought the priest outfit. Um, so here we all are. Um, but they explained to me that, that they, they, they wanted this to be their special day, um, and not just because they're getting married to each other, um, but for the second time in three days, I, I will add. Um, <laughs> but because this is the day for them to celebrate all of the things they love with the people they love. Um, and as any of you who knows anything about the these know that, that they've got massive love and passion for the outdoors. And, and uh, they wanted to share that with everybody who they love, which is all the people gathered here today. All of you? Yeah. As, as you may know, and I, I'm probably going to steal a lot of thunder from poor Graham and his best man speech, but Tracy and Andy met on um, an outdoor holic hike. In fact, the first ever outdoor holic hike attended by Andy, where I understand, not a word of a lie, that there was an incident with an animal. 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> all in the past, all in the past, and everyone's moved on, including the animal in question. <laughs> and Andy being a cross between Romeo and Rambo <laughs> actually proposed to Tracy on a mountain, yeah. which was just very romantic. And those of us who know him wouldn't have thought he would do anything else. <laughs> um, and so we come to the actual wedding bit. Um, well, Tracy and Andy's a special version of the wedding bit. <laughs> yeah, it might be. Here's why I've done my many years of training in the seminary. <laughs> Dearly beloved friends and family, mountains, hikers, and those of you who are so dedicated and brave that you managed to make it up this mountain today, despite mm. the possibly unnecessary danger involved in bringing people up a mountain, drunk, drunk, <laughs> there drinking excessive amounts while proceeding to walk down a mountain, which is when the most accidents happen. <laughs> also out in my book. Um, we gather here today to witness this possibly most unorthodox of weddings um, that I've ever seen, a hiker's wedding. So. I have a couple of vows. Tracy and Annie have inputted into these vows, which may become apparent. Uh, <laughs> here we go. <clears throat> Tracy, mine. Do you, Tracy, promise to follow Andy up any mountain, even when his GPS is waterlogged? <laughs> the rain is torrential. His mouth has gone soggy. And it's actually painfully obvious that he is utterly utterly lost. <laughs> and in the presence of all of those gathered here today, do you, Tracy, solemnly vow to take Andy as your forever hiking husband, in sickness and in health, in good times and bad, through joy and sorrow? And Tracy, do you promise to cherish and love him more than, it, more than the day before, even if he does in fact get you both horribly, horribly lost? <laughs> We're only halfway there, people. We're only halfway there. <laughs> you, Andy, <laughs> promise to carry Tracy over every stream, to push her up every mountain because she can be slow on the sand. <laughs> do you do. promise not to hide chocolate from her and to share your very last jelly bean with her without being asked? <laughs> And in the presence of those gathered here today, do you, Andy, solemnly vow to take Tracy as your forever hiking wife, in sickness and in health, in good times and bad, in joy and sorrow? And Andy, do you promise to cherish Tracy, to love her more than the day before, and to listen to her literally endless chat? <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> Sorry, because the me is a veteran outdoor holic hiker <laughs> and the polyester robe I'm wearing. <laughs> I now pronounce you man and wife. Yeah. Oh, I now present to you Mr. Andy and Mrs. Tracy Waller. You may kiss the bride. Thank you everybody for coming up. Don't you have to turn round now? I turn round now and toss the bouquet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. we are. It's only ladies. It's only ladies. It's only ladies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all single ladies. Yes. Right. It's just a bit painful, isn't it?